this particular session on the design thinking for innovations, we will understand what is the design thinking is there. In uh, my previous session, I have talked about it is whenever we are talking about the innovation and one of the major element of this innovation is design thinking. So, here we will understand the origin of the design thinking and then how the design thinkers in the organization they contributes and what are the features, principal benefits and the tools of the design thinking. Design thinking for the strategic innovations, types of the innovations, design thinking and the strategic innovation and as usual we will talking about the case study. In this session, we are having the two case studies. One is the Hewlett Packard and other is the Memorial Hospital is there and as usual research paper, book recommendations and the references are there. Now, the design thinking is not just the property of the designers, all the great uh, inventors of the uh, engineering, uh, science, literature, art, music uh, and these uh, businesses have used it. So, earlier like it was th thought of that is, uh, it is uh, only the technical designers are there, but you know, it is not restricted to the technical designers, uh, rather than it has gone to the inventions of the in the literature and the music and the business also. So, design thinking supports is developing teaching, learning and the applying strategies to solve the complications in a creative manner in the projects and processes of the businesses are there. So, this definition of design thinking is a term used to denote set sets of the strategic, conceptual and practical processes. So, therefore, uh, it, it is a long term basically whenever we are talking about the design thinking. So, there it is not a just for a fraction of second or a small duration rather than it is a strategic is there and whenever we use the word strategic it means that it is for the long term is there. Then it is the conceptual is there and it is a thought process. So, design thinking is uh, uh, making your concepts, uh, developing your concepts, designing your concepts uh, which will be used for the practical processes will be there and uh, uh, it may be applicable to the product, it may be applicable to the proposals, structures, equipment communication and etcetera. So, many key concepts and the aspects of the design thinking have been identified through studies across all different design fields. So, design concepts and design work in the both the laboratory and the environmental context is there. Now, whenever we are talking about uh, this design thinking, we uh, so first uh, the origin we will uh, talk about and the concepts of the design thinking although promoted um, by the developing the companies and design consultants ranging from a wide range of the the fields including the software development, engineering, anthropology, psychology, art and business is there. But design ideas as they um, exist today uh, have evolved collaboratively in the various fields and the industries are concerned. Over 50 years and even more have emerged and merged into the, uh, the quasi drawing system of the natural selection and these have been the integrated, documented and the promoted by the leading design uh, firms uh, such as the uh, IADD and the frog and the educational institutions uh, such as the uh, Stanford is there. Now, here uh, when we are talking about the ancient literature of the India, then we find that is the design thinking is a thousand years old. Uh, I would like to take, uh, you must have heard about the sculptures of this uh, Mahabharata and uh, the Ramayana is there. And um, so, in the both the cases, uh, when we are talking about the winning over the war, and therefore, uh, the ideas which have been generated uh, whether it is by the Lord Rama uh, or the Lord Krishna. So, in both the cases we will find that is the, uh, the design thinking uh, we already see and uh, this is the ideas uh, you know, which have been later on uh, in the current centuries uh, also uh, that has been taken uh, through the books also. But uh, whenever we are talking about the Indian ancient literature and then we find uh, that is the it has been uh, mentioned uh, at the number of places uh, when we are talking about the product process or the with the people are even so uh, even the, the the technology. So, uh, therefore, in that case uh, like for in the Rama, Ramayana, we talk about that is the Pushkar Viman is there or when, when we are talking about the arrows uh, and the different types of arrows and their different impact is there. So, what all, all, all is this about the design thinking only and experimental design experiments, uh, but uh, when we are talking about uh, uh, this uh, particular um, current uh, time, then definitely in the scientific way, then these evolutionary and the experimental design experiments have led to the methods process in the form of the design thinking tools and methods are there. Um, uh, in 1963, the idea of using design is um, uh, 
as a way of the solving complex problem uh, in a simplified manner in the science is originated in the book. The science of the artificial authorized by the Herbert A. Simon 1973. The idea of design was achieved for the design engineering by the book experiences on the visual thinking authored by the Robert McKin in 1982. The design methodology uh, is defined by the cross so, and the study of the principles, practices and the procedures of the design are developed and included the study of uh, how uh, designers work and think. In 1987, the Peter uh, uh, Rose book so, titled the design thinking describes the methods and approaches uh, to date planners, designers and the architects use. In 1980s to 1990s, the work of the uh, Robert McKin was uh, um, consolidated by the Rolf uh, uh, first at the Standard University during the period 1991 and David McKinley founded idea and adopted the design thinking to the business interests are there. Now, in the 2009, the design uh, thinking process uh, uh, itself is uh, uh, human centered offering methods for the inspiration, ideation and the learning designers uh, are there according to the Brown. In 2012, apply the study of design thinking principles of the engineering, 2015, the verbal protocol analyst, uh, cognitive anthropography, control laboratory experiments and the other formal methods uh, from the cognitive science uh, have been uh, uh, rigorously applied in the engineering. In 2017, the design thinking referred in the many applications, the prototyping solutions based method is often useful way to the encourage uh, inspiration, ideation and the organization uh, learning and the human, uh, human centered methods are there. Now, so therefore, uh, here in this uh, figure, you find out uh, uh, that is in the from the 1960 to 2000s are there. So, uh, here there is a definitions then debated in 1970s, uh, defined in 1980s, 1990s it is accelerated and in the 2000 it has been owned. Now, so there uh, here we can see that is the, the design thinking is the any individual who has the following traits can be design thinker in the organizations namely individual who has the concern for the individuals and who know the working challenges in at a workplace. So, knowledge of the multifunctionality of the organization is there and vision for developing the right process in the organization, capability to understand the problem on the job and ability to work on the problems uh, related to the job of the organization is there. So, therefore, mm, here we can see that is the, the traits of the individual which is required to be an as a, as a design thinker is there. So, here mm, first and foremost, uh, Mm, like we understand that is the future challenges may be in the uh, short term or maybe into the long term is there. So, whenever we are talking about the short term, so it is going from the 1 to 3 years uh, and in the long term, so we are talking about 3 to 5 years and 5 years and more. So, therefore, in that case, uh, the design thinker that he, he has to be able to visualize and that visualize and having the knowledge of multifunctionality of the organization. So, this is the vision of developing the right process in the organization and that is becoming a very, very important. And this capability to understand the problem on the job and ability to work on the problems uh, uh, that he has to understand. Now, um, uh, it may be in any nature of industry and when we are talking about design thinking in the context of the workplace, uh, then he, he should be one should be able to understand uh, that complexity complexity of the challenge that is what type of the problems are there and how to solve this particular problem. These are the features of design thinking are the design thinking understands from the perspective of the customers and the provide solutions for improving the product and service quality in the organization. Uh, here the role of the design thinking is to collect uh, feedback from the customers and the employees by, uh, by iteration of the prototyping is there. Expanding the range of solutions to the problems identified in the organization and the employee better customer and the employee satisfaction is there. So, enable the design thinkers to develop the new product products or features or services to customer in the process satisfaction. Uh, providing an ecosystem through the interaction with the employees technical capabilities and the customers are there. So, here it, it is very necessary that whenever we are talking about one side um, the quality or the traits of the design thinker and then the other side when we are talking about that is the features which is required uh, uh, for the uh, 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 executing the uh, design thinking. Then definitely in that case uh, we we have to understand in the area where the design thinking is to be applied and therefore, we have to collect the feedback from the customers uh, and not only from the external, 
it, it can be from the internal also. So, once you get that particular uh, uh, trigger or, or the uh, sensitivity that is uh, there is uh, something is required to do to as a solution, then this will be expanding the range of solutions to the problems uh, in the organization and the employees better customer and the employee satisfaction will be there. This enables the design thinkers to develop the new products, uh, features or services to customer and the process satisfaction is there. So, here uh, an ecosystem is required to interaction with the employees and technical capabilities and the customers are there. Design thinking is about how to think and act as it is about the process uh, and the, the, the process is obviously important because uh, whenever you want to take these steps, uh, so it will not be the one step activity rather than design thinking will be the multiple steps activity and when it is a multiple steps activity you are required to going further and there are the, uh, the certain uh, tested tools are there that need to be considered uh, within the each uh, mode uh, and each with its own of the inputs, outputs uh, and the well defined functions are there. Aside from the processes, the design thinking is also about the thinking where the concept can be uh, thought of as an integrated set of the uh, beliefs and the attitudes are there. So, you, you want focus design thinking, the process uh, uh, that understands from the perspective of the human including the employee and the customers are there. So, uh, we, we have to see the interface, interface between the technology and the people and uh, in the organization whenever you are talking about the uh, new product development, when you are talking about the solution to a problem, when you are talking about the application of artificial intelligence. Uh, so, therefore, in that case uh, uh, in this all this process designing uh, the process is to understand from the perspective of the human. So, therefore, uh, uh, the employees, those who are the employees, those who are the customers customers uh, and therefore, um, what are the uh, what their concern, um, their participation, their partnership. Uh, so, while doing to design these uh, uh, the thinker needs to consider the individual's beliefs, values and attitudes are concerned because unless and until uh, uh, if uh, you, you suggest any design uh, and which uh, design is not acceptable to the human being or it is not possible to implement by a human being, then in that case uh, there is no possibility of that application of that particular design thinking. So, therefore, in that case it, it is very important uh, that is the human focused design thinking that you have to consider. Whenever we are talking about the diversity to work in a team, so design thinking needs to consider individuals from the different background and train to work in a team. So, while group membership should be the balance uh, throughout the project, uh, it may be wise to occasionally include outside organization participants uh, such as clients, suppliers, other topic professionals uh, in the specific modes or the activities are there. The message is this that is the you should not restrict yourself within the internal uh, uh, stakeholders rather than you have to also extend uh, your thinking process, your application of uh, any new idea uh, with, with the uh, clients and suppliers are uh, also. So, uh, although detail comprehensive when we talk about uh, the comprehensive way, so although the details are important, design experts are also able to identify and consider relationships are there. Now, here it is very important uh, that the, the relationship uh, between the design thinker, uh, organization and environment. Environment means internal and external environment, internal and external environment means it is the social economical aspects. Uh, so, therefore, this collaboration and communication between the seemingly uh, different ideas are there. Whenever you are able to make this type of the design experts, uh, those who are able to identify the relationships uh, between the organization and customer. So, and uh, when uh, and then they try to make the working togetherness that is the collaborations, then you will find that is your design thinking that is practically feasible and it can be implemented into the organization. So, flexibility and the unconventional comfort is design thinking is best suited to deal with the problems and opportunities uh, that describes in an in comprehensive way and the requires the great flexibility in terms of the both content and the methodology. Uh, example with the required repetition of the modes and the categories are there and therefore, you ensure. So, communication skills willingness to communicate and work in a variety of ways including the speaking, visual, 
touch and so many. So, design experts uh, design and uh, build the prototype without the uh, perceived uh, lack of the skill or the competencies there. So, uh, here uh, the, the communication between the designer uh, who is having this design thinking and which is applicable uh, to the customers a proper communication is to be there. But why the organization should go for the design thinking? They, because there are certain benefits of the design thinking. The first one is it helps to overcome the creative challenges. So, design thoughts gives you the freedom to look at the problems in many ways. It involves a lot of brains to come up with the uh, best ideas which helps to improve the student's knowledge. Uh, therefore, in that case, uh, the, it helps to meet the customer requirements effectively. Uh, design thinking involves developing a prototype while testing and using the customer feedback repeatedly to ensure the quality assurance by following a successful design idea. So, your product will be eventually meet the needs of the customers are there. It helps to increase your knowledge of a design thinking. So, you will do a lot of experiments in the design thinking processes and you will always try to innovate your uh, uh, model by using the customer feedback to ensure the customer satisfaction is there. Now, what are the different tools of the design thinking are there? The first and foremost tool is that is the visualization. Visualization means any activity and that takes the information behind uh, the text as well as the numbers and the pictures, uh, maps and the uh, stories are there. So, the, it is not well defined. So, that is the that the person has to imagine and uh, here at its uh, simplest level imagination is about the creating the virtual images and images and the moving away from the our trust as masters in the number and test. So, at a deeper level it is about uh, the visualization uh, creating the mental images uh, clear representations of the our ideas and the details about uh, the customers and the information in a way that makes them the human and uh, attractive. Uh, here uh, this visualization will be giving them the realistic approach and uh, uh, making uh, uh, the best uh, ideas in their minds. So, so, therefore, they can be uh, shared with these uh, uh, human uh, artifacts. Uh, here the journey mapping is an uh, ethnographic research mentioned that focuses on the tracking a journey of a client uh, as he or she interacts with the organization uh, while still working uh, on the receiving a, a service uh, and uh, with this uh, the special uh, uh, attention to the heightening of the reducing emotions mapping uh, experience uh, is used to identify the needs the customers may be able to articulate. The third one is the value chain analysis is there. So, whenever we talk about the value chain analysis examines how an organization works with the value chain partners to the produce market and distributes the new offerings are there. So, as we always talk about that is the we have to contribute towards the uh, value chain uh, uh, connect and the value chain is connect is the that is the value based value propositions. Uh, your idea now uh, which you are generating then implementing and creating and that should create a value proposition is there and when there is a proper value proposition it will be the part of the value chain analysis and this analysis provides ways to create a, a better value for the customers uh, in, in the series and they reveals uh, important clues about the skills and the goals of the partners are there. So, um, you are exploring basically. So, when you are going for this step of the value chain analysis, you explore uh, the partner's ideas and the skills also and you can also understand the goals of the uh, partners and the uh, next one is the mind map. So, it is used to represent uh, how ideas or the other objects uh, are li linked to the main idea and so on. So, mind maps are the used to produce uh, the visuals, organize and uh, clarity and it took a uh, part of uh, pattern and the details uh, that provides the uh, important design conditions. So, through the rapid concept development uh, where the, it is a tool to use these uh, design uh, details and terms uh, we have developed to develop new business opportunities. When people uh, fear the, uh, the world creative process uh, uh, then the mental development may be the only thing that can think of and the, they often uh, equal equate with the brain is there. The next tool for the uh, design thinking is about the assumption testing. So, it is a tool for expressing the important assumptions uh, that are less attractive to a new business idea 
and using the available data uh, to assess the feasibility of these assumptions. Uh, uh, this approach they acknowledge uh, uh, that when new businesses idea is actually an informed speculation about the what customers want and what they will uh, appreciate. The prototype is the best test uh, model for the proposed uh, solution and used to test uh, the validate uh, idea uh, design uh, assumption and the other uh, aspects of the consideration quickly and cheaply so that the designer or the participants can make the appropriate uh, uh, refinement or the possible changes along the way. So, uh, this prototype is actually giving you the uh, real picture where the uh, whether whatever the imagination was there that imaginations have come true or there has been the certain barriers are there. So, go creation is the based on the belief uh, that the presence of the users is essential to be the creative processes users provide an understanding of what is important to them. At your core, uh, this means that uh, uh, the, the concern is any process uh, that bring uh, uh, the users and the designers uh, together to uh, work uh, uh, towards a shared goal is there. Uh, the uh, next tool is about the learning launches is the uh, study of the, uh, the designer to explore the in fundamental assumption of the total production potential for the new growth in the marketplace. Uh, it is contrast to the uh, complete uh, uh, release of a new product uh, and, and the learning implementation is a quick and the inexpensive learning test to the collect the market uh, driven data. Uh, storytelling in a logical way summarizing a story, it is a class relative of the imagination. One way to make uh, the new ideas uh, sound uh, real and uh, compelling, the visual storytelling is a very compelling uh, type of uh, uh, the story uh, where they good presentations, uh, whether the analytical is uh, uh, designate or the tells a fascinating story. So, design thinking strategic innovations that is having the innovation management. Uh, so, it is a concept uh, which has multiple aspects and the dimensions and are contributed uh, uh, based on the multiple disciplines of the study that has a uh, various theories and the framework is there. So, innovation management uh, uh, it is not restricted to uh, one, uh, one science or art or literature or one design or one the product uh, uh, rather than it is having the multiple disciplines are there. Uh, like I would like to mention about the types of innovations uh, which are the four types. Uh, the first one is the disruptive or the sustainable in innovation radical versus in incremental. Third one is the innovation matrix and fourth one is the uh, architecture and the modular innovations are there. So, we will take the first one that is a disruptive versus the sustaining innovation. So, the concept of disruptive innovation is related to the concept product or service uh, which will create new value to the existing market and uh, create a com completely new market. While the sustainable innovation is based concept of the improving and the growing the uh, existing markets. Here uh, in this diagram you will find that is when we are talking about the sustaining innovation. It is going through the problems is well understood. Ex existing market, then the innovation improves performance, lower cost, incremental changes, then the customer is believable, market is predictable and the traditional business methods are sufficient. So, this is going to be the sustaining innovation is there, while whenever we are talking about the disruptive innovation is there. So, it will be rippling innovation, uh, problem is not well understood, uh, then the new market is there, then the innovations is dramatic and game challenging, customer does not know market is unpredictable and the traditional business methods fail. So, therefore, in that case uh, in this uh, disruptive innovations uh, we will find it is totally different. Uh, these radical versus incremental innovations uh, happens when a new technology completely disrupts the existing business or economy and creates a new business model. So, incremental innovation in turn refers to a series of small gradually built improvements to existing products, uh, processes or the methods to maintain the competitive positions over time. So, radi uh, these uh, radical in innovations uh, when we are talking about uh, then it is uh, explores the new technology, highest uncertainty, focus on this, uh, on this uh, product, process, service with a unprecedented uh, performance features are there and uh, creates a dramatic change that transform existing markets or the industries or the create the new ideas are there. While when we are talking about the incremental innovations, uh, so explores the existing technology, low uncertainty, focus on the cost and the feature improvement in existing 
processes, products or services, improves these uh, competitiveness within the current markets or the industries are there. So, therefore, it can be the radical or the incremental is there. The third one is the innovation matrix. So, to clarify the aforementioned uh, dimensions and to the better demonstrate them, we look at the four terms and the contributed them with the innovation matrix, radically disruptive, then these uh, innovations that happens in new technology and creates a new business model has no clear competitors, radically sustaining improvement on a product or a process. Uh, so, this is a sustaining innovation is there. So, this is how well is the dominant defined is there and how well is the problem is defined. So, if the problem is well defined and uh, the domain is uh, also well defined, then in that case it will be the sustainable innovation will be there, uh, which is nowadays uh, everybody is looking for the sustainability. But when the problem is not well defined uh, and uh, the, uh, these, uh, the domain is also not well defined, so therefore it, it, it requires the basic research is required to do in this particular domain. When uh, the domain is uh, well defined, uh, but the problem is not well defined, it will be disruptive innovation is there. So, but when these uh, uh, the domain is uh, not well defined uh, and the problem is well defined, then the breakthrough innovation is there. So, um, here improvements on this uh, uh, a product or processes in the existing market that provides uh, a new value for the customer incrementally disruptive and incremental improvement in technology that leads to a, a dramatic disruption. So, incrementally sustaining small and cumulative change in an existing product, technology or the services are there. So, types of innovations will be the core concepts, uh, uh, reinforced overturn architecture systems and the radical innovation is there. So, architecture innovation is described as the reconfiguration of existing product technologies. Uh, modular innovation or the component innovation on the contrary, it is the exact opposite. Uh, in uh, uh, modular innovations, one or the more components of a product is changed while the overall uh, design stays the same. Uh, here with the help of this diagram, I would like to mention. Uh, for example, the linkages between the core concepts and the components are there. So, uh, uh, radical ex innovations examples we have geodesic dome frame replacing conventional stick built lumber wall frame is there. While in the architectural systematic innovations, the example is the prefabricated wall frame which the HVAC is there, plumbing and electrical components replacing the conventional uh, stick built lumber wall frame is there. While in case of the reinforced is there, so that, that is about the unchanged and an incremental innovation. So, lumber wall uh, frames replacing conventional stick built lumber wall frame. While when, when you talk about the modular uh, innovation that is the uh, overturned is there, example is the extruded metal trust frame replacing conventional stick belt uh, lumber wall uh, frame is there. So, here in a modular in uh, all of these components is uh, change while the overall design uh, stays the same. So, therefore, that might be the uh, their designing thinking in the strategic innovation. So, it is based on the concept of the strategic management uh, interaction between the design thinking and the strategic innovation provides the following benefits uh, a concept of design thinking has supported in developing the products and services which match the expectations of the uh, customers and thereby supporting the strategy of the organization. Design thinking provides an opportunity to integration of new ideas and the thinking which is essential for the development of right strategy for the organization is there. So, now uh, whenever we are talking about the design thinking and strategic innovation, so uh, these innovations come through the, uh, the strategy and the innovation jointly. So, it, it is giving you the this particular uh, process and therefore, it is the value and organization norms of the international companies tend to vary depending on the organization's home country. So, organization norms and values are the influenced by the values in the larger national culture is there and approaches in the ways managers coordinated and control on the international plan is there. Uh, this is the case study of the Hewlett Packard, which you can refer this case study that it is talking about that is uh, how innovations have taken place uh, in the uh, organization and uh, then you can find out uh, that is the uh, how increasingly share of both the consumers and, uh, and the corporate computer is uh, uh, raised. Uh, this is the uh, memorial hospital case study. This is giving with the healthcare industries uh, 
and in the healthcare industries it becomes very important uh, how do you take uh, uh, these innovations. Now, in design thinking for the innovation context factors, process and outcomes, this research paper by the Nicholas Roche and Victor Tavis Shesh Kaus uh, that is the uh, that will be giving you an idea that is uh, how design thinking for innovation that can affect uh, the contextual factors, sources and the outcomes are there. Um, this study will also help you to understand uh, that is uh, how it is underlying principles and tools and the individuals as well as the organization outcome of a design thinking concept is there. Um, this is the value that the action provided a holistic overview of the current state of research is there. This is the another research paper that is enhancing the design thinking approaches for the innovation through gamification is there. And this will is by this uh, Rui Petrio, Antimonia Carizo Moria and Francisco Zurlo and these uh, um, uh, help in to understand how the innovations in the context of the early stages of the innovation uh, process uh, design thinking and sustainability approach to the support innovative uh, that is a complete and uncertain business environment is there. So, with this help uh, study of this book also design thinking for the innovation by the Walter Berner and the Fogg and Brickell, I am sure that you will be understand the concept in the different fields including the engineering, management, information technology, science as, as it offers the students and professionals a source book revealing the power of uh, design thinking while providing the academics uh, a roadmap for the future uh, research is there. These are the references which you can refer for your further studies and you can find out that is the how design thinking that can be practically possible to be implemented at the workplace. Thank you.